Welcome to our YouTube channel. Here recap movie clip. The film begins with Larry, a man who has failed in every area of his life. He even today misses his son's career day at school. Later, he meets up with his ex-wife, they had been divorced. He meets with his ex-wife's friend who has an impressive personality. Larry gets upset when he discovers that his son want to be like his mother's friend rather than him. Larry was upset because both his personal and professional lives had been disturbed. Now, Larry attempts to get a job at the Museum of National History after working a night guard there. Because he has nothing else to do. Now, this job appears to be attractive to him. And the museum's business was decreasing. It was decided that the old guards would be removed from the museum. Only Larry would be appointed to this job. Larry receives the keys to the museum as well as manual instructions from the old guards. They tell him to turn on the museum lights at night and does not let anyone out of the museum. Larry doesn't understand their instructions, and the three guards eventually leave the museum. Larry was alone at the museum, and tonight was his first night shift. While sitting in the reception area, Larry hears a strange noise. He checks and later he notices that the area where the dinosaur's skeleton was supposed to reside is now empty. He feels upset, and on the other hand, he notices the dinosaur in front of him. Larry begins to run in fear, and the dinosaur follows him. He soon understands that the dinosaur does not want to harm him, but rather wanted to play with him. Meanwhile, he discovers that many other creatures have returned to life, and he believes that something is wrong. Later, he began to study the manual given to him by the three guards, which stated that the African creatures should be kept caged and not let out under any circumstances. You need also be cautious of the monkey, as he steals the keys. Larry goes to see the African mammals and locks the door. When Larry demands keys, the monkey giggles, but later gives Larry the keys. Larry closes the door and continues on, noting that many other creatures are now have been alive. There were Old West, Asian Rome there, and they were miniatures and their leaders fought each other. Meanwhile, there was a lady in a glass bottle who was an American native lady. Actually, all of the creatures in the museum, about humans have heard have come to life. After seeing all of this, Larry becomes astonished. In the meanwhile, Larry is attacked by people from the Old West and Ancient Rome. Before they could do any more harm to Larry, a man riding a horse appears and takes him away. The name of that man was Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States. He states that the Egyptian mother of Pharaoh, along with the Golden Tablet, arrived at the museum in 1952. And because of that tablet, every night, all of the creatures have come to life. It lasts until the sun rises, and if someone steps out into the sunshine, it will turn into dusk. And everything in the museum would be damaged completely as a result. He warns Larry that everything must be settled before daylight. Meanwhile, Larry notices that the president likes the lady captured in the bottle. Later, the old three guards arrive, who worked here before. Larry complains to them that why you hadn't informed me about this earlier, that everything here come to life at night. I wouldn't continue the job here, and he walks out angrily from the museum. Outside, he notices his ex-wife's friend and his son, who have come to congratulate Larry on his new job. Larry's son invites him to his school's career day once more. Larry thinks to resume his job after hearing this because he wants to be a role model for his son. He does not want to be a failure in front of him. Larry is told by the museum's old guard. That you must research everything in the museum so that you can handle everything easily. Larry does the same thing, he goes to the library and begins searching for information so that he can control the things. Later, Larry returns to his night shift job, tying a bone to the car and keeps it in front of the dinosaur. So, whenever the dinosaur comes into his life, chase that bone instead of teasing Larry. Larry, on the other hand, gives the lighter to the wild people who were attempting to start a fire. As a result, they set fire to everything around them, including their hair, but Larry puts out the flames. The monkey, on the other hand, steals Larry's keys and opens a window once more. Larry and the people of ancient Rome and the Old West, on the other hand, are shown battling, and Larry is unable to stop them. Later, he witnesses a wild thief take the keys from a monkey and flees. The sun rises, and the wild guy turns to dust as Larry pursues him. Meanwhile, the cleaning truck arrives and collects the ashes of that wild man. Because the museum was set on fire last night Larry was fired from his job by the museum's senior officer. Meanwhile, Larry's son also entered the museum. His son becomes disappointed after hearing this, but Larry doesn't want to lose this job at any cost. He begs one more chance from his senior officer so he could continue his job properly. Larry runs across a female employee who was looking for the lady who had been caught in the glass. She was impressed by her, and now Larry informs her that at night, everything in the museum comes to life. Female employee doesn't believe him. 
Larry says that I can arrange for you to meet the lady who is imprisoned in the glass at night. Because she also comes to life at night. She becomes enraged when she believes Larry is making fun of her. Larry knows his son is disappointed, so he goes to his wife's house. Where she advises him not to meet his son since he is disappointed in him. And I don't want my son to suffer as a result of your actions. But Larry tells his ex-wife that I'll take my son to the museum, where he'll have a great time. Larry now takes his son to the museum and informs him that around 12 a.m., everything comes to life. Nothing happens when it's 12 a.m., and Larry has to be ashamed in front of his son once more. Now Larry goes inside to check everything, and he discovers that the old guards are stealing everything. It was their old plan, and they hired Larry to make it easy for them to steal and blame Larry. And the objects hadn't come to life tonight because the pharaoh's magical tablet had been disabled. Now that his son has that magical tablet, Larry requests that his son to activate it. Meanwhile, the three guards rush to the Egyptian pharaoh chamber, where they are all locked up. Larry also arrives and releases the Egyptian pharaoh, who speaks English as a result of the years spent at the Cambridge. There has been a lot of research done on pharaoh, and now Larry had to save the museum. He gives a motivational lecture, stating that we should reclaim our museum from the old guards. Otherwise they would steal everything, and the world would be destroyed. On the other hand, two guards have been arrested, but one of them flees while attempting to take the tablet. However, as he starts his car, he sees that both wheels have been punctured by many ancient Roman leaders. The president and the bottle captured lady have now arrived, and the thief rushes into the cart. He collapses with the president, who splits in two, but the lady fixes the president with the fire, since he was created with wax. All of them are now following the thief because they must get the tablet at all costs. Or else the museum's night world that comes to the life will be destroyed. In Central Park, the guard goes to take the tablet, and Larry follows him and takes the tablet from him. It was about to get dark, and they needed to get back to the museum before they all turn into the dust. Now, everyone starts running towards the museum, and the female employee understands that Larry was telling the truth. They all arrive at the museum early before the morning, and the female employee is impressed with the glass lady. Larry introduces the glass lady to the female employee. The museum's news was broadcast because the museum had been severely damaged. After the museum's news is broadcast, the senior officer fires Larry from his position. He understands the museum's business increased after being broadcasted. Because the museum attracts a large number of visitors, Larry was reappointed. Larry becomes the part of that world that comes to the life at night.